That is cool. Very cool. So what have we got here? So this is N squared gem on a 3M touchscreen. Beautiful. Using Windows 7 Touch. And how many points of touch does it support? Uh, officially it supports 20, but we've been testing and we seem to get up to, well, 30, 40, 50 touches. Brilliant. And as you can see, it's very responsive. The official specs are 6 millisecond response time, I believe. Very cool. So, this is just our fun little gimmicky app to try and get people used to touching it. If I load into something a bit more. Okay, so what have we got here? We can play either upright, but we're flat at the moment, two player, or we can play three player, four player. Very cool. So, play two player and play the game. And here we have chemistry. Brilliant. So. so this is a game that we originally developed for Surface, uh, but obviously we've ported it across to Windows 7. Um, running on this screen it's actually very nice, we get the high resolution which we haven't seen on Surface, everything looks a lot prettier. And the response time is still there, so I'm just going to make myself some oxygen. Cool, so we've got H2O, yeah. and... So this is just our education game, basically aimed at teaching high school students a little bit about chemistry. Brilliant. Um, what else we got? And so you're creating something there, I could be creating something over here at the same time. Yep. And that's the beauty of this screen, really, it does handle all of us touching it at the same time. Fantastic. We can have a whole bunch of stuff flying around. So what do we need now? We need a, a sulfur? Yep. So if you need help on that, we've actually got a periodic table in there as well. Oh, very cool. So you can explore the periodic table, find yeah. out. So how many is sulfur? I don't know, you'd have to know where it is on the uh, periodic table, wouldn't you? There we go. So, sulfur has 16 protons and yeah. a valence of negative 2. Fantastic. Which you've got. Which I did. And so I can drag the sulfur out, pop it into the centre point, and woohoo, hydrogen sulfide. Brilliant. That's cool. And then it will get on to the next round. Next exercise. Okay, and again, this is running on the 3M multi touch screen, which is just pivoted around to act as a table. So, Yeah, if we wanted to, we could. Yeah. And you've got your desktop viewing again. Very nice. Very nice. So, this is a 24 inch monitor, I guess. 24 inch, yeah. Brilliant. With a resolution of, what was that, 1600 by 1050? Fantastic. And then we can tip it back up again. Yeah. And it just becomes our ad hoc table. Great. Yeah. Okay, so what else can we do on this? Anything. I mean, it is running on a Windows 7 laptop, so... Okay, so what have we got running here again on the, on the 3M screen? And we've got what looks like N squared a four-player game. Fantastic. Yeah. So, so I to, I'll pretend to be this person, it's actually my turn, so I'm going to pick a couple of cards. Mm. Nope, so I'm just going to swap around. So then it goes to this person here, yeah. and they can pick a couple of cards. It's just your basic memory game. And then, a bit of a nice so it just goes around the table. Yeah, while the screen. Woo hey, there you go, so you get another turn. Cool. And then round to this person. And the ticks stay facing in the direction of the person and yeah, the cards so all move round to face. That's beautiful. That's really nice. And the little bug lights up, depending yeah, on who's basically turn just a turn indicator. And each person has a different colour, so I assume their ticks will appear in their colour. Correct. 
So one of the other so what are you doing there? Going back options. To options, I'm just going to go back to the options screen. We're going to change this to an upright game, which hopefully you can stay with. So now we go to so this an is, upright screen. Okay. Yeah. Play, that. play four player. Oh, look at that! Very cool. So now everyone is upright and. Yeah. So we'll still have the the turn indicators. It will actually go around the table like that, mm -hmm. around the screen. Beautiful. So next person can have a go. Where was it? There and there. There you go. And that person's got a score and. Brilliant. Very nice. So you can play upright or you can play to a vertical or horizontal screen. Changes the layout of the screen. And uh, yeah, you can and you'll notice the cards no longer move around. And the around. cards don't they move around. Stay. Yeah. Very nice. So we have also changed the players down so there's actually mm -hmm. only two of us. We might as well only play two players. Again, okay. Slightly it's just different. Just two players. Well, and, yeah. With a bit more, the space is obviously taken up by the cards. Yeah. Cool. It's beautiful. It's a really nice interface. Good stuff. Thank you.